from the Tribune News Network. This is Newsbreak. I'm Kirk Smith. Health officials have confirmed we have more AstraZeneca vaccine in the country now. 33,600 more doses arrived yesterday. Now they have to find ways to get more people to take it. Close to 40,000 persons have had their first shot. Some, including opposition leader Davis, now have their second. He's among those encouraging persons to get vaccinated. I, I encourage Bahamians to, to, to take the vaccine. I think more public education on the part of the government is necessary to ensure that persons do take the vaccine because the risk of not taking it right, is more acute than if they were to take it. Vaccine Committee spokesman Ed Fields told the media earlier this week that the demand for the vaccine has flattened. Former Health Minister Dr. Dwayne Sands has a view on how they could get more people vaccinated, suggesting that the process should now be moved into the hands of the people's primary care doctors. Healthcare officials continue to monitor the virus numbers meantime, and for Monday there was a decrease, 25 cases in total over three islands, 23 in the capital, 55 persons in hospital, six of them sick enough to be placed in the ICU. This is news break from the Tribune News Network. Social Services Minister Campbell confirming that six seniors and four staff members of an elder care home were among the recent corona cases reported by the Ministry of Health. They've all gone through the care protocols, and the minister says no homes have any cases now. Police looking for help to identify the man whose body was found on a soccer field here in the capital this week. So we're appealing to members of the public who may have a relative that's not been seen for some time to contact the police. This person seemed to be a full-bearded, mid-aged male of dark complexion. Police spokesman ASP Audley Peters, he says the death has been classified as suspicious for now. National Security Minister Dames warning would-be drug smugglers that they can run but they can't hide. He says agents will get them in the end. The comment comes following the arrest of a Bahamian pilot in Cat Island this week after $1.6 million worth of cocaine was found on a plane that landed there. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. Now the Tribune's overnight AccuWeather update brought to you by Bahamas Power and Light, BPL. No systems in the area, partly cloudy tonight. Chance of late showers, overnight lows from the mid to upper 70s. 74 at Freeport, 76 in the capital, 78 at Matthew Town. No marine advisories overnight, winds falling to light and variable. The sea's three feet or less. The next tide is a high around 10 this evening. Thursday's forecast, partly cloudy, highs in the mid-80s. Your weather update brought to you by Bahamas Power and Light, BPL. Through all severe weather situations, they will be there by your side. This is news break from the Tribune News Network. Do you want to increase your sales? Then advertise your business in the Tribune, the leading newspaper in circulation. Reach the market that will keep your registers ringing. Give your business the maximum exposure at an affordable investment. Advertise in our Home Buyer's Guide, Insight, Women, or Obituary sections. Let us help you get your business to the Bahamas and to the world with our online advertising spots. Professional advertising reps are waiting to offer you advertising packages to suit your budget. And consultations are free. The Tribune, your answer to increased sales. Call our sales department today, 502-2394, or visit us on Shirley Street. The Tribune, the people's paper, biggest and best. World News Headlines, the World Health Organization has released a report that concludes that world leaders had a chance to stop the coronavirus from becoming a pandemic but fail to act in time. The WHO panel recommending fundamental changes to prevent a repeat of this. Close to 50 casualties have been reported from the violence in the Middle East so far. Israel and Hamas have been exchanging rocket attacks and escalating tensions there. The Queen carries out her first public duty since the death of Prince Philip. She officially opened the British Parliament this week. Sports Notes now brought to you by the Tribune Sports Section. Check on TV. There's some soccer on. Major League Baseball is on TV also. The Marlins play at Arizona tonight. Jazz still on rehab from that hamstring injury. Not back with the big club yet. The NBA in the final stretch of the regular season. This is the last week. Six games tonight. Both Phoenix and Sacramento off after playing last night. Get the Tribune Sports and read about the latest on the Olympic Games preparation. 
all of your sports details. You want to check the Tribune Sports section. Everything you need from the world of sports you'll find in the Tribune Sports. And that's your news break. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. <laughs> 